animal? Uh, Jamie Lanier, J-A-M-I-E Lanier, L-A-N-I-E-R. Okay. Okay. Um, tell me the process of your discovery of calling. Hmm. Well, I, um, my discovery of calling has been twofold, really. Um, first of all, I've known I was called to be a mother since I was a little girl. I've always wanted to have kids and um, got married, had two little boys, Luke and Micah. They're now four and two, and um, it's just dreams come true, really. Um, so I've known that I've wanted to be a mother, and then being a mother has been the greatest joy and the greatest struggle that I've ever had. Um, I was divorced um, recently, about seven months ago, and so that has been such a struggle because I never really dreamt, obviously, or imagined that I would be a single mom. Um, I knew I wanted to be a mother, but never imagined being alone inside of it and parenting alone, especially with my boys. Um, I often find myself wondering, am I giving them what they need? Um, do they have what they need? Am I teaching them what they need to know? Um, so, so, so often, many times through every day, I struggle and I pray and just ask God, fill in the gaps that I know that I'm leaving and that are left there and the wounds even. Um, and I just pray that he heals them and that he will um, guide them in places that I can't uh, and teach them truths that I can't even teach them as young men um, and me not knowing what it's like to be a boy or to be a man um, in so many areas. Um, I can't set the example for them, but he has told me, God has spoken very clearly to me that he is my husband and he has given me everything I need um, and I have to trust him with them. So that's been the first part of my calling. The, the opposite part of it has been just for me personally, um, the process of discovering who I was um, as an individual aside from being a wife or even being a mother um, and that's a ballet teacher and a dancer and I have loved to dance since I was very very young and um, never really considered I could do that for a job because I loved it so much I mean you're supposed to hate your job but um, I finally sunk into that and realized I can do this as a job and so I teach ballet here at the church and um, I just started my own business teaching at my kids' preschool, too. And so I get to teach all ages of, of girls and even young women. And I absolutely love it. Um, and that process has been more of something of just accepting how God has wired me and the gifts that he's given me and really being okay with being energized by something. Because I, I think I've got something in my head that says, if I'm doing the right thing, it should be like really hard and it should drain me and I should be exhausted. But um, when I teach, I feel energized and I leave the classroom. And even after I dance, I, it energizes me and it fuels me and it's, it's very life-giving. Um, and I still find some struggle inside of it, just balancing order uh, and creativity, you know, in the classroom and just in my own life. My biggest struggle is um, finding the difference between being ordered and being able to be free to be creative and be flexible. And sometimes I find that they collide. Um, so I've been asking God to teach me what that means, that creativity wouldn't just mean chaos and that order wouldn't just mean rigidity, but that they would be able to mesh and, and live together. So that's been my biggest struggle as a ballet teacher. Okay. Um, how has this affected your life, your family life, professional life, spiritual, emotional? Hmm. How has what? The, my discovery of calling? Yeah. Your discovery of calling and your life moving in the direction of doing what you were created to be. Hmm. Well, I've never been one to enjoy the process. I tend to like and prefer to live in extremes. Like, it's black or white, it's this or that, or I'm just all in or it's nothing. And I consistently find that God is directing me and saying, you are in this process and I am doing something inside of you. And you might not know what it's going to look like when I get through with you. And, and I really think, bottom line, he's not going to be through with me until I'm in heaven. And um, for me, being content inside of the process, yet still... Um, passionately pursuing what he wants for me and realizing that he's not done and that I'm not done um, 
is a struggle, but it's been, it's, it's permeated my whole life because at this point there are so many things that I still passionately desire and want to pursue, yet maybe can't. And so there's that um, angst sometimes in me going, but, but, but I know that you want me to do this and I don't have time or um, I have the desire but I don't have the giftedness or, you know, whatever it is. Um, in some ways the angst has permeated my life, but in other ways the contentment has permeated my life, just saying, coming to the realization that God is doing something inside of me and growing something inside of me and that he's not really going to be done and that it's okay. What, what are some of the, um, the barriers that you've had to overcome?